in Canada, we have one of the most progressive sets of laws around consent. It talks really specifically about things like someone can't consent if they're impaired by drugs or alcohol. It talks really specifically about how there's no such thing as implied consent. Consent has to be enthusiastically expressed, um, things like that. But at the same time that I'm like talking about the law and teaching this law, I think that our approach to consent needs to be a much broader philosophy of, of care and of respect because first not breaking the law pretty low bar um in terms of why we would want to practice to consent but i also think when we're working towards um creating a consent culture this is a term that's often used in my field what would it mean if everyone's desires wants boundaries pleasure was honored and respected with the same equality as everyone else's and what tools do we need to get there when you're talking about consent culture as a traveler, consent laws are different no matter where you go in the world. Mm -hmm. so being able to spread this kind of culture to these different, different cultures, to different places is incredibly important. Mm -hmm. And really understanding that in Canada, as the progressive leaders of laws, it's still such a mm -hmm. low bar. We shouldn't be aiming to hit this. We should be jumping over. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't be making leaps and bounds in this. But yeah, we need to understand more. So... Yeah, I think it would be interesting to go over what is seen as the bare minimum, because I think a lot of people might have different ideas of what this minimum bar is. How do you approach this? So consent, it's an agreement. It's, it's a yes to, to do something. And uh, we consent all the time, right? Whether in non-sexual situations. And oftentimes, you'll, you'll probably notice throughout this conversation, that I often talk about consent in non-sexual situations, because I think they're really instructive for the ways that we often intuitively give consent. So I just want to flag that, and I'll probably come back to it a lot. But kind of in addition to that basic definition, there's a lot of things to take into account. So first, consent has to be voluntary. If someone's saying yes to, to sex or to any kind of sexual act, it's because they, they really want to, and that's freely given. And it's not a yes that's been coerced or forced out of them. And I think we can imagine or might have experienced even this could look like a partnership or a dating relationship where one partner is like, you just must think I'm so horrible and ugly. You don't really want me and you're going to break up with me and emotionally man manipulate that person. So often a, a lot of sexual violence, a lot of sexual assault actually does happen within dating relationships, even though our narrative is still like, ah, the stranger in the bushes is coming for us all stranger assaults do happen but it's in Canada anyways it's only about 15 percent of assaults are strangers but yeah so so voluntary not there's no guilt there's no pressure there's no threats think of the ways that someone with a position of power can weaponize that against other people so classic example Harvey Weinstein mm -hmm. using um, a ton of uh, power whether it's explicit or implied of ending women's careers if they wouldn't give in to what he wanted and then forcing himself anyways. I've noticed if a guy is trying something with me, I'll be like, no, I'm not interested. Oh, come on, are you sure? And then they yeah. keep trying to pressure again and again, and then they stop. Oh, no, it's fine. Oh, no, I won't do anything. And Okay, cool, then we're good. We can chill here. And then all of a sudden, we start talking more, and they're like, oh, now this is definitely an invitation that she wants me to know. That's not an invitation just because we are continuing to talk or be in the same room or because I'm mm -hmm. naked. Just because I'm yeah. naked doesn't mean that it's an invitation. That's not yes. When I say totally. no, it doesn't mean you can keep going and keep asking. Absolutely. Yeah, no is a complete sentence, full stop. But, and I think a lot of this has to do with our, our culture and specifically around heterosexuality. Men are, are taught that no means try harder. And then eventually you'll like get the girl. And then for, for people who are of any gender who have said no to something and then that no is disrespected and disregarded, people will give in because maybe they're feeling unsafe. Will this escalate to a point where I'm physically forced? I just want this to stop. Giving in in order to preserve your safety and well-being and um, after your boundaries have been disregarded, that's not a yes, that's willingly given, right? Mm -hmm.